friends, the day has come what you've been waiting for, a walkthrough of my December Daily 2017 album. This is probably one of my favorite projects. In fact, I think I mentioned that in my last video. I absolutely love this project so much. It took me a while to get this one done because I had some struggles in 2017. So this project was on the back burner. I recently came back to it because I wanted to get it done before I started my 2018 album. And you guys are going to see all those goodies here pretty soon. So let's dig into this 2017 album. Now, if you want to see a complete unboxing of what I used last year, make sure you check out my playlist under December Daily 2017. So you can see the unboxing and then all of the videos that I worked on before I did the December Daily for Slackers series. And sometimes if I haven't finished a my December Daily project, this is the second time I've done Slackers. I think I did it in 2015 or maybe 2016 when I didn't finish the album. And the Slacker series is just to inspire you to get your albums done. So my approach in finishing this album was to keep it simple. In fact, my entire album, I want to keep it as simple as possible. I didn't do a whole lot of embellishing, over embellishing the album, not like my first December Daily where my focus was on a ton of embellishing. So this one I kept really simple. So I use the Felicity Jane holiday kit. This is a Felicity Jane album from 2017. It's a faux leather album. It's absolutely beautiful. This album also features gold uh, hardware, which I really like. So you have the gold hardware here on the corners of the album and then also here for the binding mechanism, which I absolutely love. So let's dig into this album. So for the first part of the album, I have this acetate sheet. This came with the kit and it has the word December already printed on it. And the only thing I did was I added wood veneer numbers to this, but I wanted to jazz it up a bit. So I did a little bit of heat embossing with some gold embossing powder and it didn't come quite as sparkly as I wanted it to, but that's okay. And then I adhered this on the acetate using some hot glue. So I knew that it would stay on and it's absolutely beautiful. Then I wanted a pattern behind it. So I took another page protector and a piece of vellum from the kit and slipped that right in there. Really, really simple. And so now I have this great intro to my December daily album. Day one is all about me using my mom's Christmas cup. She had recently purchased some little black Santa Claus um, Christmas mugs. My mom's obsessed with black Santa Claus figurines and anything black Santa Claus she's completely obsessed with. And they're hard to find sometimes in the store. So whenever she uh, finds anything, then she likes to buy it. So that particular day we went and visited her at her house where she always has decorated so beautifully. I had some hot cocoa out of one of her new mugs. And in the journaling, I kind of talk about my mom's obsession <laughs> with her, with all of her Santa Clauses. She has a ton of them. So I use this little pocket here, punch some holes, add a little detailing. I created my own uh, tag here using some regular white cardstock. I also added a little bit of fiber here to the tag that came from the Felicity Jane kit. So did this chipboard circle that says joy. And then this little border piece here is also from that kit. Now I have my photo here. I also stamped Dear Santa using the stamp set as well as some white stamping ink directly onto the photo. And then below I have another piece this is a vellum. Um, this little Christmas tree pattern paper is vellum. And then I added a little doily and then the wood veneer number one. I used all wood veneer numbers throughout the album to uh, number all of my pages. So, all right, day two is about a date that my spouse and I went on and it wasn't our best date <laughs> ever. My spouse um, suffers from depression and anxiety and was having a really tough time, but we decided that we were gonna go out and have dinner. We ate at a restaurant called Mashed which is a, uh, they specialize in drinks based on moonshine. <laughs> and that was the first time we ever had moonshine. So I talk about that, but I also talk about how it just wasn't a really great date. And I think this is an example of when you're working in your December daily, they're not always going to be great stories sometimes, but I did want to document this because this is what happened on day two. So I talk about that in the journaling. I also talk about how we went to go see a local production of the Nutcracker and it sucked. We left like after intermission and that's not something we normally do because we enjoy seeing the Nutcracker every year. And uh, so that particular year, we decided to check out a local production. It just didn't work. So that whole evening just really was a bust. And sometimes, you know, you just have to put things in the this sucks category and move on. So that's what we did. So I have this pocket that I used a tag, add a little bit of fiber. I have some uh, uh, font stickers that I have left over from a previous um, Allie Edwards kit. 
So I spelled the word date and I also stamped holiday details that came from the Felicity Jane kit as well as the paper. And then I typed my journaling in Microsoft Word. I am not a Photoshop expert by any means. So anytime that I want to add journaling to a pocket of some sort, then I just kind of eyeball it and measure it out in Microsoft Word as a document. I type what I need to type in, I'll do it in a text box and then I will test print it, cut it and make sure that it fits in the pocket that I'm trying to get it into. So this is a three by eight pocket. And I believe these pockets did, uh, maybe they came with Felicity Jane pockets, I can't remember. But in any event, I went ahead and typed up all my journaling. I added a little circle down here and trimmed that off the edge in my wood veneer too, just so that my two had a spot there where it really stood present. I used my tab punch to create a tab and just stapled that right on that pocket. In the back, I have some pattern paper, another one of these chipboard circles that says reindeer. And then I put the label together because the next story I'm gonna tell for day three is about my family and I, we went to a local holiday celebration where there was food trucks and the lighting of a tree and we got to see reindeer and Santa Claus and all kinds of stuff. So I created this tag using some white cardstock as well as some pattern paper from the kit. And what I did here at the front is I stamped a little reindeer head and I also added a label. This was from an old Allie Edwards kit. Um, so I added the label reindeer. Then I also have some fiber up here that I just stapled on using my tiny attacher. I ran the journaling through my Microsoft Word, printed it out, and then I just created a tag out of that. So I wanted it large so that I can add a lot of journaling. And so I basically talked about how we went to this holiday in the park event that was hosted by the city that we live in. And it was sort of a last minute decision. That particular day we had been running errands all day and we went with about 30 minutes left to spare. So we didn't get to do a lot of stuff, but our daughter got to do a little arts and craft thing. And then we took some pictures in front of the tree. Um, and in the fall time, I like going to walk by that tree because it's really close to where we live. And then um, I also took a picture of the reindeer that they had out there. So she got to see a reindeer and the children could pet the reindeer, but she decided not to because that's just not how my kid rolls. So I went ahead and printed out these photos, three by four, and then I added my wood veneer number three. And then I also added just this little tiny wood veneer here. And I think these little small details work perfectly in a very simple and clean album. And that's what I was going for. Day four, more of the same, got the wood veneer four. I adhered a fabric star right to that wood veneer four and mounted that all on this three by four pocket card. This card, Peace, Joy, Love, came with the kit. I did some more printing, made my own journaling card, again, just formatting that in my Microsoft Word program. And then I stamped the word tradition. That came from an Allie Edwards stamp set that I love and I use it all the time. And sadly, I have somehow lost that tradition stamp. I have no clue where that went. But anyway, so I stamped that, left enough room when I was formatting the journaling for this card, print it out, cut it up, and put it in my album. Have some uh, pattern paper here with some Christmas trees. And then outside of the pocket, as you can see, outside of the pocket, I went ahead and adhered a, a charm that says, um, a flare rather, that says joy. And I like to adhere things on the outside of my pockets. I make sure I use a strong adhesive. And it's just something that you, as you're flipping through the album, you can touch and sort of interact with. I printed a photo of my daughter and my spouse putting the Christmas star on top of our Christmas tree. That was something that my little one was looking forward to. I'm going to try to position this so you can see it. I also have this chipboard circle that says tree that came from the kit and I just thought that was cute. I printed this out six by eight just on regular photo paper and I used, I want to say PowerPoint to resize the photo and I just printed it out like a PowerPoint document, whatever. I find little things like that work for me because I don't know how to use Photoshop. Shop. So it worked. I printed it out, trimmed it up. I printed it out on eight and a half by 11 paper, trimmed it up so that it fit in the pocket. And there we go. My nice six by eight photo that I love so much of her putting the tree. And by the way, she has her blanket tied around her neck because she was not only a princess that night, but she is also a superhero. So <laughs> there you go. Alrighty, next up, um, I took a picture of our finished Christmas tree, which is something that I love to do. I added a little cluster with a label that says Merry and Bright. I also added some puffy stars around it just to give a little bit of whimsy and this little scalloped border here that came with the kit. This black and white uh, piece right behind the photo, this is actually vellum paper that came with the kit as well, which is really pretty. And then yes, I did take my Bath and Body Works bag. I had several of these during the holiday season because I buy a 
lot of things from Bath and Body Works, usually throughout the year, but particularly during the holiday season. And I love this bag so much because it featured a little bear with this Jeep and it has the little truck with the buffalo check. It was beautiful. So I cut the front panel of the bag off and then of course punched the holes and put that in my album. I also adhered a little bitty piece of fiber. I stapled that with my tiny attacher so it's easy to just flip that versus, you know, touching it and flipping it. Now on the back, I did do some repetitive stamping with one of the stamps from the kit. And then I also have um, a little bit of a color variation. It's all black and then you get to the red joy right down there. I didn't want the rest of the bag to be plain. So I did some repetitive stamping right there on the back of the bag. Next up, I have this Christmas wish list insert that came with the kit as well. I stamped a Christmas tree, added a tab that says December, and then I just kind of talked about um, how every start of December, I start thinking of a million and one things that I want to see during the holiday season and things that I want to do and share and experience. And um, I talk about how I think we feel proud of ourselves when we say we're super, super busy, when really we need to just slow down and chill. So that's what I talked about there in that journaling. I talked a little bit about how I'm going to embrace the season. That was my intention. And this sort of served as my intention page for the December Daily Project. Now, if you're familiar with December Daily, then you know that Allie Edwards, the creator of December Daily, sets an intention for her albums every single year. And usually that's the first page in her album. I did a little bit differently by putting it on this wish list insert and just sort of fleshing through my thoughts and then ultimately saying that I'm going to embrace the imperfections. I'm going to embrace everything that this holiday brings. And I needed to show myself some grace that year because life was particularly hectic. Next up, I inserted this little calendar. And if I can remember where I got this from, I will post the link in the description box. But I thought this was super fun. I start seeing other people add calendars to their December dailies. And this is a fantastic way to keep track of all your events. It helps recall <laughs> information. Oh yeah, by the way, we went to Enchant on the 9th. Oh great. Now I can go ahead and document that in my December daily. So this became very functional. Plus it's just super cute. I love the little vintage van and the Christmas tree. I did a little bit of stamping on here with some of the stamps that came with the Felicity Jane kit. And then I also put in all of the things that we were doing that particular year. So I'm going to start my December daily. We decorated that first Saturday. Um, we did holiday in the park. We also did Enchant, which is a light event um, in Arlington. Uh, my daughter had a showcase at her school at the time. We went to go see um, a ballet Christmas carol in downtown Dallas, Christmas shopping, um, last day of work, last day of school, our travel to Edmond and that type of thing. And in between all of that stuff, I have all these other stamped images and sentiments. And I just thought this was fantastic to keep. And plus how fun would it be to look back on all of the wonderful December activities that you get into. Next up is day number five. This was a particularly cold day for us here in Texas. And that was actually, it was probably the first day that it got really, really super cold in a while because the weather sort of fluctuates a lot here in Texas. I have my wood veneer number five that's mounted on top of my photo. And this is a picture of two really cute mugs that I found at Target because I can't resist Target at all. And when we got home that day, we decided that we were going to make really yummy hot chocolate. So before we, before we went home, we stopped at Target. Um, I grabbed these mugs and grabbed ingredients to make homemade hot chocolate. I usually make mine in a pot on the stove and we added, um, marshmallows and whipped cream and <laughs> sprinkles and candy canes because that's how we roll. I have these th two three by four pockets here at the top, one with this beautiful red and white pattern paper. I have this chipboard piece that says cocoa. And then for this one, I took a screenshot of my weather app for that particular day, printed it out, and then I trimmed it down three by four so that it fit in the pocket. I love doing things like that. So in the back is a continuation of the day. So later on in the evening, my daughter was decorating her Christmas tree and she has this little yellow emoji <laughs> that she put on her tree and her cute little American girl doll just sitting there with her as she decorates. Um, my journaling here is on a journaling card that actually didn't come with the kit. That came from a kit that I had years ago and I can't remember who it's from. Um, but I talk again about the hot chocolate. It was sort of a hot chocolate kind of day. Um, we went to the store and searched for Christmas decorations that night as well. And then we finally got home and we made uh, hot chocolate. And this is a picture of my daughter enjoying the hot chocolate. Here's another insert that did come with the kit. Uh, one of my favorite patterns here. Went ahead and adhered the number six onto that. Continue the pattern here on the back. 
And then these are pictures of my Christmas decorations. And I was so proud that year because it was probably the best decorations I've had in quite a while. Um, that was the last Christmas that we spent in the apartment. We're getting ready to move into a brand new home. We're building a home. So we'll be in our new home before Christmas. But I like taking pictures of my Christmas decorations, mainly so I can remember how pretty they are because it's my favorite time of year. But also it really jots my memory of what I did <laughs> the previous year. I tend to use the same decorations year after year, and then I add new stuff every year as well. So it's good to look back to see how I position the decorations in our house. I use this Joy 3x3, 3x4 card, and I have some 3x3 photos I'm sorry, three by four photos of my living room and the centerpiece on my coffee table. Then I also use this other journaling card and adhered this little chipboard piece that says cozy. On the next two pages are a continuation of that story. So again, letting the patterns from the journaling card really do its work. And then I just add little bitty touches here and there. Again, not trying to over embellish because that's not what I was going for. So I have this really beautiful fabric um, Christmas tree. And then here I added a label to this card that says season of wonder and then um, underneath it, it says home. I have a picture of my dining room buffet, as well as an end table that I have, a cup, not an end table, what's that called? A lamp table in my living room um, and the decorations that I put on there, as well as decorations on my island. I did a little bit of journaling here on a journaling card that came in a totally different kit from previous years. So there are some elements in here that I've used in previous years from other kits that I try to incorporate and use up. Then I added three little stars here that I attempted to use gold embossing powder, but for some reason the powder that I had wasn't um, really that great. So it sparkles, but not as much as I want it to sparkle. And I put it on this card because the card says the stars are brightly shining. So I thought that would be great to add that little element onto that card. Then I continue on with the decorations, just a couple little pictures of my favorite spots in the house, as well as some more journaling. Um, and in the journaling, I talk about how much I love decorating for the holiday season. And that particular year was probably my favorite in a while. I have this acetate divider that says fa la la la, -la repetitively across the sheet. And then just to give that a little bit more color, I added just this plain green uh, papers cardstock. And I also heat embossed the word Christmas cheer, just to give that a little bit of sparkle. So let's move on to day seven. So what I did here on this six by eight pocket pocket as I added in some pattern paper. It's a red background with white dots, a small little doily that I believe these doilies came in the kit. I also trimmed this piece of paper with some fishtails on either side and adhered the wood veneer seven. Then one of my favorite techniques is using one of these pocket pages. This is actually a simple stories pocket page. It did not come with the kit. I trimmed it down because there is another column that goes here to the right. And I added all of these cute little embellishments. So I have some sequin, a wood veneer, coffee cup, this uh, chipboard piece that says sparkle. I did do a little bit of stamping on these tags that say spread cheer and December memories. These are both an Allie Edwards uh, stamp. I have a flare and I also have a Christmas tree and I sealed up these little pockets using my fuse tool. I think that's just a nice little divider, something fun, something interactive to put in your album. I got that, learned that little trick from Allie Edwards uh, several years ago. Alrighty, so I have these two pictures of my daughter and on this particular day, we had just finished gymnastics. It was, Thursday nights are always really, really hectic for us because she goes to gymnastics practice. I did not feel like cooking so we go we went to Olive Garden and that's her munching on her favorite meal of all times which is Alfredo no chicken just regular Alfredo and steamed broccoli and she also loves their breadsticks so I took a couple of pictures of her enjoying her meal and she's such a goober and I did journal a little bit about that um, this pocket card came with the Christmas trees on one side the lines for journaling on the other and then I added the stamp the story that came from the Felicity Jane kit that year day eight kept it really simple um, we were just hanging at home so I didn't do a whole lot that day but I did talk about um, just relaxing having a hot cup of my favorite coffee and my creamer because I usually purchase the holiday creamers this time of year and enjoying a warm blanket on a cold day it was really really cold that day and we just watched movies and just you know hung out and that was pretty much the story for day eight I have the wood veneer eight here on top of my photo I have this little fabric piece here that says joy it's really pretty and then um, this journaling card that I did a little bit of stamping on with the December and the tradition and then I added some uh, puffy stars to that to make that a little bit more interesting. 
Next up, day nine, we went to Enchant in Arlington, and Enchant has all these gorgeous light displays, and we had so much fun. This was a huge, ginormous Christmas tree that you can actually see from the highway. It's so tall. So I printed this photo six by eight, and pop, well, it's a little bit less than six by eight. Pop that in. I did back it with some pattern paper just to give it some interest on the other side. Then I did a punch circle with some of the pattern paper that came with the kit, added my wood veneer nine and a little puffy star and called that good. I also did another three by eight insert with the journaling and I talked about how much we love going to holiday events that we went to Enchant in Arlington, Texas. It was a spectacular Christmas light event. It featured mazes. You had to find all of Santa's reindeer if you wanted a prize. I mean, it was all kinds of beautiful light displays um we did eat at some of the food trucks there which were eh, some of them were okay but um we had a lot of fun we went through the maze i got to take a ton of pictures and god what else did we do there oh and they also had a christmas market there as well so we went and got some macaroons and some little christmas trinkets and just had a really good time on the back of that i have some pattern paper I also punched out a circle and trimmed that up and added this tiny Christmas tree just to give a little bit of an element, a decorative element there. Then I have a ribbon up here that I wrapped around the journaling card and then I stapled that with my tiny attacher. So I can actually pull this out if I want to. That's not stapled to the page protector. And then of course I added my photos. This is my favorite photo of that event. It's of my daughter and we went through this maze part where they have all these twinkle lights hanging down and she was just just pure ecstasy that that child just going through all those lights and so I snapped this photo and it's absolutely perfect have this journaling card with this Christmas tree decided not to do anything with that this little chipboard piece that's on the outside of the page protector it says twinkle and then a photo of my daughter and I that I took with our little Christmas headbands that we wore all year long I mean all season long that particular year Next up is more Enchant pictures. Um, have two pocket cards here. I did adhere the um, tag on the outside this time, and then I have these two little tassels that I attached that did come with the kit, and then I added the festive label. And then when possible, I like to add memorabilia to my albums as well. So these were a couple of things that we got when we went to Enchant. I think this was a map, I believe, or yeah, something like that. I think that was a map that you can unfold. This was, oh, I think once we went through the maze and found all of Santa's reindeer, there was a candy cane attached to it. And because there's some adhesive here, I just covered that with some washi tape and just stuck that in there. And then these were the cards that we used um, while we were going through trying to find Santa's reindeer. And of course they have all the reindeers listed, including Rudolph. And what you do is you take a coin and you scratch it off every time you find one of the lighted reindeers. And they were pretty spectacular too. So that was really fun. And then what I'll do down the road is I'll print photos any extra photos that I have. I have this nice large envelope that I just had hanging out in my stash. It didn't come with the kit. I added some washi tape. I used some of the foam letter stickers that came with the Felicity Jane kit to spell out photos and I'll stick in extra photos there. So that's a really great way to add photos to your December daily without having to use a whole bunch of pockets. So I'm gonna do that. On the back of that, I just had this Give Good cup sleeve from Starbucks that I love. I love their holiday cups so much. They're so festive and we go to Starbucks a lot. So I just adhered that sleeve right on the back side of that pocket. Another insert, this time it's polka dot. The next story, day 10, got my wood veneer 10 there. Here's a photo of my daughter. I have a label here that says special delivery and she had gotten a response from Santa Claus. Uh, she had written Santa Claus about all the wonderful things that she wanted for Christmas that year and that she's been really, really good kid. And so she had gotten a letter. Now, I don't know who sent this to us. It came unmar unmarked and I thought, well, maybe it was a friend. I don't know who sent this to us. So, um, but we got it one day in the mail and I couldn't recognize the handwriting. Maybe it came from her school. I have no clue. So anyway, so we got that special delivery and I didn't do anything special that particular day. Um, I was really busy, really tired. So I just added a four by six card and a tag, did some journaling. I added some fibers here and then the little Christmas tree and called it good. Um, okay. Next up, is day 11 and on this day I was exhausted. Part of my stress from last year was that I um, had started working outside the home temporarily. We had a lot of financial things that came up all of a sudden. I had just started Victoria Marie Designs in 2016 and had not reached profitability and things were just crazy and this job that I was working although it was a job that supported my daughter's school so I got to see her every day and we went to the same facility every day which was fantastic 
this job was a lot more labor intensive than what I would have ever imagined. So a lot of times when I came home, I was completely, I was physically exhausted because the job not only was mentally taxing, it was physically taxing as well. And so, um, as someone who was completely out of shape, <laughs> at least at the time when I was working there, um, I struggled the first few weeks of working that job. So in any event, this is me laying on the couch with one of my soft blankets. And I talk about in the journey, journaling how exhausted I am. And to say that that was a complete understatement, that my job was busy, the holiday prep was in full spring, and I feel I felt as though I was behind on everything. And I just said, for now, I'm just gonna lay here and relax. That's all I could do that evening. So printed a photo of myself doing that. I have some pattern paper here with this tag that's been hanging out in my stash forever. Did a little bit of stamping. I think this stamp that says the story of today was actually an Allie Edwards stamp. I have my number 11 wood veneer. I have the stamp again as an Allie Edwards stamp. And then I have some fibers here that I adhere to the tag. That is from that Felicity Jane kit that I used that year. Okay, day 12. Um, I wanted to put in just some everyday details of what was going on in our house. So this top picture is of my spouse sitting on the floor with tons of paper spread out because she's a college professor and was grading papers and entering final grades before the semester went out. Um, the house was a hot mess that week and I did put that in my journaling. It was a hot mess, we were super busy. I didn't have much time to clean. Um, on this journaling card, it came exactly the way it is with the exception of the black stars that I stamped using one of the Felicity Jane stamp sets, I believe. And then I did this little circle here with a little circle embellishment that's a little uh, snowflake. Have my number 12 down here, added a little star just to give it a tiny bit of interest. Printed those photos in black and white as well. I like to alternate black and white in my December daily albums. And then I have the word uh <laughs> spelled out using an Allie Edwards stamp. And I think the rest of this is Felicity Jane with the exception of the card. I've had that in my uh, stash for a while. And so this is my hallway with all of our laundry there. Usually we pile it up in the laundry room when we're getting ready to do the laundry and I can sort it and then I can just throw it in the washer one load at a time. But it stayed like that for the whole entire week. I guess maybe two weeks we had laundry in our hallway because we were just so busy and couldn't do it. So real life. And then this is a picture of a, of a shirt that I have and it has a cuss word on it and <laughs> Corinne left me a note calling me out about my shirt which I thought was super funny. All right next up I subscribed to the book of the month club and that particular month they gave us some holiday stickers and they were really cute and I didn't want to take them off uh, the paper and so I kept them intact and I said you know what? I'm gonna pop that in my December daily album and so I did. Um, this one's my favorite one of the cookie and he has <laughs> dropped his milk or something like that and his leg is broke and he's laughing and he's saying fa la 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 la. I think that's super cute. It's really funny. So for day 13, I snapped a photo of my little girl working on her little sewing project. She has a sewing machine that, that sews felt and she was making, um, oh goodness, she was making an assortment of pillows as well as a scarf for her baby doll. And she just got really quiet and so I wouldn't checked on her and I just saw her in there just creating away. So I snapped a picture of her and it's just really cute. And that's what I talk about in the journaling. So I have a six by eight card, a little doily here on the side with the number 13 that I adhered. And then I have the stamp set, which is really cute. It's by Hampton Art with these little Christmas trees. I stamped and used a die that came with the stamp set to do this little trio of trees down here at the bottom. That's a nice little decorative element. And then here on this card, I used another doily. I punched a circle out of a piece of pattern paper and then I heard this rubber charm that says remember this that's actually from an Allie Edwards kit from a couple of years ago call that page good next up is day 14 in fact I put day 14 on this page and on this particular day was really really busy my daughter had a production at school um, I also took a picture of the items that were included in my lunch that day my spouse likes to throw random things in my lunches or used to when I worked outside the house and so that day I had a Barbie doll and <laughs> it's a great pumpkin Charlie Brown our DVD in my lunch that day so very clever here's some more of that journal on the three by eight pocket and I just talked about the events that happened that day with my daughter's program and how well they did and then we got to look at some of the work they had been working on as well so for this particular page every now and then I'll do a spread on a six by eight which I really like printed the photo out of my of my girly um, I have some pattern paper here in the back a little bit of pink a little bit of this green check pattern I also have a tag that I put underneath the photo 
Here's another one of those fabric stars. I stamped the story of today. And then of course I have my wood veneer 14 that is layered on top of a circle that I punched out of pattern paper. So nice, simple, and clean. Here's a divider that came with the kit that says believe. I didn't do anything with that, left it as it is. Number 15 or day 15, I put this wood veneer number. By the way, these double digits are actually mended or melded together, which is really cool. So this is a grid design. I don't know if you guys can see that. On the 15th, we went to go see a ballet Christmas carol. Normally, we see the Nutcracker every year. Um, my spouse and I did see the Nutcracker local production earlier in the month, which is the one that was bad and we left through intermission. But as a family, we went to go see the Ballet Christmas Carol in Dallas. It was um, performed by the Avant Ballet Chamber or the Chamber Ballet in Dallas, which was really nice. Um, so I kept the program. So this is actually a postcard really that I, that I grabbed because I just love the ballerina here on the front. She looks so pretty. Then I have another one of these pockets. I did some repetitive stamping with the word December. This is from a December daily stamp set. Then I took our tickets and a little bitty gold paper clip. I added some fibers to that. And so our, our tickets are all clipped together and I just slipped that in there and then I use the little paper clip to keep them in. Then here are some more things that I picked up while we were waiting for the show to start. So this is another little card with some information about future performances. And then here was the program. I try to save all the programs from all the live shows that we attend throughout the year. And I definitely wanted to save this one. So I popped that in there as well. So here are some photos of us at the event. I took one of the journaling cards. This is actually not from the Felicity Jane kit. I want to say these are from Ellie Studio. Again, I just did a text box in Microsoft Word. And what I do is I do a test print and then I put the journaling card on top of the test print, run it through my printer, and then it prints on my journaling card. Down here, um, I just thought these colors worked well together. I think these actually came in the same kit, but I'm not sure. I stamped the word December and this is a time for family that came from an Ali Edwards stamp set and then I have some pictures here of my little family and then my mom went with us this was her first professional ballet that she ever went to so that's her and my daughter um, in a picture together which is super cute and then of course I had to have a picture of my girly in her beautiful little Christmas dress some more journaling about how we just enjoy the show and we enjoy going to live events which is something that we uh, do and want to do more often picture of my spouse and my daughter then I have this other little card here again these are not from um, Felicity Jane they were from other kits but I did use an Allie Edwards label here that says celebrate always and then these little puffy stars right here on top of that card that is from the Felicity Jane kit that I used that year. A nice little selfie of my spouse and I, and then I took a picture of the stage. It was really beautiful. Um, venue. I used an Allie Edwards font sticker to spell out the word lovely. And then some more pictures using these chipboard circles. This one says music and that one says light. Now we particularly love this show because it had a live quartet. It was fantastic. And then all the beautiful lights in downtown Dallas. Day 16, nothing major going on here. Um, what I did, again, another journaling card. I included both typed fonts as well as stamped. And it says, nothing beats a relaxing day at home. Corinne and I decided to work on a few pages in our December daily albums. Um, and because it's chilly on this winter day, we sipped hot chocolate with whipped cream and Christmas tree marshmallows and munched on Pepperidge Farm pirouette chocolate or milk chocolate cookies. This is by far our most favorite thing to do, being creative, drinking hot chocolate on a cold day and spending time together, priceless. And that is my favorite thing to do. If I'm just chilling at the house, just relaxing, doing the things that I love, it's just, I consider that a good day have this beautiful checked background. I did punch a um, piece of pattern paper to mount the number 16 on. I added some wood veneer stars here just to play off the wood veneer from this card. And then here's a picture of my daughter and I in my studio and she is working on her December daily and we have the Nutcracker playing in the background and then I'm working on my December daily as well. On the back I have a little to-do list journaling card. It says buy presents, drink hot chocolate, bake cookies, watch movies, and snuggles. Only nine days left till Christmas. Then I have another drilling card here with a label from Allie Edwards, little puffy stars from the Felicity Jane kit, and a picture of my daughter using all the thickers on her Christmas album, <laughs> on the front cover of her Christmas album. Let me see if I can reduce the glare on that, but she's so super cute. And I don't mind her using my thickers because I hoard them, so someone needs to use them. 
Day 17, I always typically include Starbucks in my December dailies because I love Starbucks so much. And I love their holiday cups, including their disposable cups and of course the cups that they sell every year. So I can't wait for them to come out with their new designs this year. Did a little bit of journaling and said if I could own stock in any company would be Starbucks. Corinne and I make countless weekly trips to Bucky. We call it Bucky. Um, for their super rich hot chocolate and holiday inspired drinks. I believe we have tried most of their hot chocolate drinks. My favorite being Snickerdoodle hot chocolate, which is odd because I do not like Snickerdoodle cookies. Rennie loves her regular hot chocolate and Brie enjoys a nice mocha with raspberry. There are some, There is something about their holiday cups and warm drinks that gets me every time. It is one of my many pleasures and I enjoy that I enjoy during the holiday season, especially on a really cold day. I just love it. And I do. It's one of my favorite things. So I took a picture of my cup while I was sitting in the car <laughs> once I walked out of Starbucks. Did a little stamping here um, with this word Mary that comes from an Allie Edwards kit. I added two little uh, die cut stars just to add a little bit of sparkle. A little fabric... Um, tree that I actually adhere to the outside of the page protector and then I have some more of that vellum Christmas tree paper. This card here I don't think that was from the Felicity Jane kit but I can't remember but I adhered the number 17 right in the middle of that wreath and called it good. Day 18 was another chill and relaxed day. I have the wood veneer 18 right down here on the back of that uh, pocket card that I created from the Christmas tree vellum. So serving double duty. Picture of me just chilling with my popcorn bowl. And I have a picture down here of my daughter and my spouse reading Harry Potter, Chamber of Secrets. We had gotten the illustrated version of that book and so they were pouring through that. I did a little bit of journaling here on this tag. I just cut it down to fit the card, added a little bit of fibers here, and then this little uh, chipboard piece that says Snuggles. And the journaling is, I'm so grateful for cold weather, yummy treats, soft blankets, Harry Potter, and time with fam. I have another insert here. This one has little uh, snowflakes on it which is really pretty and then a six by eight pocket I just put the wood veneer 19 on the outside of the pocket some pattern paper inside the pocket and I trimmed it so that I had the branding strip with the reindeer included in that next up was my daughter's school holiday party this was right before they let out for the holiday season so this is her in front of the school Christmas tree I used this white and red stripe pattern paper which was my favorite out of the kit I adhered the photo against some white cardstock as well as some green cardstock tucked in a tag with a black star. I have this chipboard piece here that says uh, pajamas and then I spelled holiday party using the font stickers that came with the kits. Really, really fun font sticker. Add a little bit of journaling and some more pictures and call that one good. Then I continue the story here on the back with some more journaling and then pictures of my daughter and I both at the party and then of course concluding the day with Starbucks. All right, almost finished with the album, day 20. I did not have a photo for this day, and I think maybe because there was a lot going on and I didn't remember to take a photo. So I pulled out this old journaling card, and I wanna say this is Ellie Studio, but I can't be for certain. It says favorites this year. And so in each box, it's a little theme. So this one says moment, food, place, TV show, book, and then activity, and I just fill those boxes in accordingly. Then I add some little tiny embellishments to each box. So some little die cut pieces, a couple of wood veneer, and a little bit of sequin. Now for my photo, since I didn't really have one of anything that I did that day, I just used a picture of my December daily album. Then I hear this wood veneer number right on top of the photo and slip that in the pocket. All right, day 21 was another chill day for us. And so my daughter and I were enjoying some candy canes because we could probably go through millions of candy canes. Then there's this December bucket list card that came with the kit. I went ahead and mounted that on a piece of black and white striped vellum. I have my number 21 with a label that says Hello Christmas and those little puffy stars again. And our bucket list says eat candy canes, eat cookies, eat pie, <laughs> drink Starbucks hot chocolate, watch Christmas movies, see a live holiday show, eat more candy canes, put candy canes in our hot chocolate and put candy canes on the tree. All of those things we did do that holiday season. Day 22, um, my daughter likes to, when she gets up, run in our bedroom and jump on our bed and jump on us. And so this is a picture that I tried to take of her on top of my spouse who's covered up in the blankets trying to hide from her and then me laying next to them as I'm trying to take this picture. And she's just laughing, having a good time as she jumps on our bed and plops all over the place. I used a label with a little Christmas tree on it and that came from a Ellie Studio pull apart, I believe. And then I have another label from Felicity Jane that says cozy. Then I made a journaling card by cutting down some pattern paper with this pink and white stripe that came from Felicity Jane. I added a plain white tag, put my journaling on there and just said today we are getting ready to travel to Edmond for Christmas. Uh, Maddie and I are greeted by a super energetic kiddo who likes to hop in our bed 
and hop and plop on us. Okay, I'm up. <laughs> <laughs> we needed to get on the road, so she was our alarm to get up. I did stamp this story here on the card and use some puffy stars here. Then I also have some little sequins here. I did a little pocket and added the number 22, and that just kind of floats around in that pocket, so I can move that sequence around if I want to. And then I sealed that up using my fuse tool. Then, of course, you see the sequence here on the back. Um, once we got to Oklahoma, we were staying at my in-law's house. And my mother-in-law has a beautiful Christmas tree in her living room. So I took a picture of that and the gajillion presents that were there for all the grandkids and the adult kids. And here's a picture of my daughter opening up her advent calendar. That's actually before we left to go to Oklahoma that particular morning. I have this label here that's from an old Allie Edwards kit. And it says, this year we enjoyed an advent calendar that contained yummy chocolates. I have the wood veneer number 23 that I adhered right down there. I have another insert that says today's story. I went ahead and adhered the number 24. And then this is a photo of my daughter that we took at a local mall while we were visiting my father-in-law. And this was probably when all of her Christmas photos with Santa are beautiful, but I think this is one of our favorites. They were super, super nice individuals. And Mrs. Claus said, your daughter's so sweet, I want to take her with me. And of course, Corinne was agreeable to that because who wouldn't want to go to the North Pole, right? So what I did was I mounted that photo on some uh, pink and white striped pattern paper and then added the die cut that says follow la la la, called that good. Next up, I continue on with that story. So after we took pictures, we saw, looked at some of the decorations that were in the mall. Um, they had a little Santa scene set up behind us, a um, little miniature setup, which was really cute. I used a journaling card that wasn't from the Felicity Jane kit. I forget where this came from. I stamped the, um, the reindeer head on top of that. And of course, heat embossed that with some gold glitter heat embossing. Add another one of these really fun luggage tags here or inventory tags rather, and then did some journaling about how we headed to the mall. We saw Santa, my mother-in-law tagged along with us, and how Santa and Mrs. Claus were really, really sweet. And that's just a family photo of us goofing off. Then I added some more photos of us in front of this little Christmas display. And then we get to day 25, and I kept this one really simple. I just included photos of myself, my spouse, and I opening presents. So with this three by four card, it says Merry Christmas. That is from Felicity Jane, as well as this little card here with the presents. I added the wood veneer, not wood veneer, chipboard piece that says presents here. And then of course the wood veneer 25 that's adhered on the outside of the pocket. Inside of the pocket is this uh, white polka dot against red um, journaling card. Picture of my daughter with all of her Christmas loot. And then on the back here is a picture of my spouse holding her Doctor Who jewelry box that she requested. Um, I have this little journaling card with a label that says peace on earth, a Christmas tree flare. This is me um, taking a selfie with my how to be a boss um, book by Lily Singh that I absolutely love. And then I use a little tag here and the journaling reads 3.30 a.m. Yes, that's when we got up. Apparently this is the perfect time to open gifts according to Rennie, my daughter. Off to the tree we went, uh, paper all around, wrapping paper that is, everyone is content and happy, off to Denny's for breakfast. And we did, probably about five o'clock, I was like, we're hungry, let's go eat. And then we crashed most of the day until it was time for dinner. So that is the end of that album. I did have a few little things that I wanted to make sure that I saved. So I used this really cool pocket, and this is by Becky Higgins, and I had to add just an additional hole so that it fit in this album, because it's not designed clearly to fit in this particular album. I created a label, it says wish list, and I used an Allie Edwards stamp, it gets some Felicity Jane pattern paper, and added some puffy stars and inside this pocket are the wish list and things that my daughter sent and then of course her correspondence from Santa Claus and so I wanted to keep that in there as a nice little memento so that's going to sit here in the back of the album and then I have one last acetate piece it has a marble design that lays against the white lining of the album so that is my 2017 December daily album using the Felicity Jane kit along with some other materials from my previous December daily stash. I'm so excited to get ready to get started on my 2018 album. If you have any questions about this particular album, my setup, my process, my intentions for doing this project, make sure that you post it down in the comment section below. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, congrats to you. I hope that you were inspired by this album. Now for my 2018 album, I do plan to keep things simple like I did in this album. I am going to be a lot more efficient with how I get things done. Um, but my my focus is on telling those robust stories. So I'm going to talk more about that 
when I walk you through my intentions for my 2018 project. Again, if you have any questions, post them down below. And I hope that you're inspired to take on this fantastic project. Hey friends, before you go, be sure to subscribe to the Victoria Marie YouTube channel. And when you do, make sure you hit that bell indicator. That way you'll know every time a new video is posted here to this YouTube channel.